In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to create file and add the contents inside the file using Microsoft Csor.net. So add here, this is the code that I already written to save some time. Now first uh, you need to include add here this namespace using system.io input output namespace. Now from here you need to write uh, the codes. So a string tab variable I have taken the name is file and at this location I have given the uh, path of file so here at the rate and uh, here this is the path so I am going to show you the path C user Adam desktop Ruby let's go C drive here user Adam and uh, somewhere you can find uh, just right or so here after desktop now you can see ruby so there no any file related with xyz so going to create the file xyz you can give the extension like uh, csp html txt anything and this content that I'm going to add inside the file and file stream or class is there so it provide a stream for file and it supports synchronize and and synchronize read write operation means we can read the file contents or we can include something inside the file and if any exception that comes so this can be handled by try and or uh, catch finally so I didn't include it catch so if you want then you can include now using f1 equal to new file stream and here file file mode so file stream is the class and here file mode here this is the enum so you can use so uh, different operation with the uh, file mode so if uh, you press start here you can use if you are creating first time so you can include create or here this is the detail about to create append to uh, merge the file exiting file contents and uh, this is about to create new and here open open or create so let's uh, use here first time I'm going to create so let's use create and here using a stream writer so here writer so writer that is only used to implement text writing character for a, a stream in particular encoding so this is object here using this sw object and here stream writer f1 that included now sw write so writing add so add here this content inside and here after uh, when everything no any error nothing no any issue then that uh, display console dot right line with the help of console dot right line that display turn okay now let's uh, execute to uh, this uh, code and uh, check the output first now you can see our uh, mass is getting turn and if I close here let's go to this and here you can see xyz that uh, file is created now let's uh, check the properties and here you can see comma separated value the file property is the comma separated value here you can see dot csv now if you want to see the record let's open with uh, notepad and here education for all it's uh, displaying now if you want to include uh, something more so education for all and hi how are you so this i'm going to include some content so in place of uh, or dot create we need to use append so here this is the detail about the append so we can uh, use append to add some contents on exiting file so here let's uh, run and check the output once again 
so getting the masses done and uh, let's uh, close that and uh, open the file once again and here you can see hi how are you it's a uh, displaying so this is the code here to create the files and add the contents using seesaw.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you in next week thank you